Well, one of the things we may want to do if we're having problems is to check the version of firmware we've got in our LEGO Mindstorms robot. To find out what we've version we've got. First of all we go to start up Mindstorms. I've started up the version 2 but education will be fine. We could click on either of these. I'll click on this one which will empty in, uh, off, which will start up an empty program. Uh, click on tools. We'll go to uh, update NXT firmware. The second one in the tools menu. Click on that and we get something here which tells us that I've got three firmware versions of firmware. Lego Mindstorms NXT Firmware 1.28, Lego Mindstorms NXT Firmware version 1.29 and an experimental version which you don't have to worry about. So what I have to remember is that I've got version 1.28 and 1.29. The reason I've got two is that I, put, I wasn't sure I'd trust version 1.29 so I kept 1.28 to go back to if anything went wrong. I'm just being cautious. So what I've got to remember is version 1.29 and we'll see if there's a later version than 1.29. Close that down, close file and exit. No, we don't want to save any changes and we'll now open up a browser. Um, the place we'll go to to check is this particular address. Now, if you're using my website, which I hope you will be, um, that will be already in the um, in the text and you'll just have to click on a link which will take you to this particular page and if we contain our soul in patience here we are it's Lego's uh, firmware version it's the where we download the various versions of firmware and you'll notice that uh, advanced firmware drivers patches we get firmware is what we want and there are four versions available here firmware 1.26 1.28 1.29 and 1.31 remember I had version 1.28 and 1.29 I haven't got version 1.31s so I'll be cautious and I'll be download that so we click on download here and we get a whole lot of information we can click on that and we can go through and read it and it says a whole lot of stuff which more or less means colors a bit better and we've fixed a few problems okay so but when you do that you can read all that carefully if you want to now download we can download that I usually say use save as in my particular case on the top of the desktop I put a folder called delete me to remind me that I want to get rid of that later on we're in the folder delete me and I'll click on save to save that it'll go down it's already been downloaded we can close that and I'll close down the Mindstorms folder as well and we'll look in our little folder delete me double click that let's move that back into the area of the screen was being recorded and I've got this download folder which is a zip folder if you don't see that you can move this along a bit let's just get a bit more room see how the arrow changes to that vertical bar move that along and you can get a bit more space now that download is a zip file we've got to unzip that before we can use it And if I right click there I get a whole lot of options I'm using Windows 7 uh, that may be different for yours but in Windows 7 I get extract all click on left click on that and the file will be extracted to this folder um, let me bring it in there and so you can see it will extract into this folder it will go extract it shows me that I've got this uh, it's inside delete me inside that folder and in there right now what we've got to do with that folder let me move it down there and close the original folder we've got to move this into the program section of uh, our computer now this is where we got to be quite cautious um, we go to start and computer and the I've got C colon is my operating system now this is an area where um, if you're in a school you probably won't have permission to do this okay and if you do have permission to do this if you're at home 
be very careful don't delete things here you delete this and your computer might stop working if you haven't got a backup there'll be all sorts of hassles right so in my case I go to program files 86 double click on that now I've got to find Lego here so I click on this go down here we are Lego software double click on that and I've got two versions here the educational Lego software and the uh, version 2 I'll click on, double click on version 2 but if you can click the other one if you've got it and we find one called engine here we double click on engine and inside that we'll find a folder called firmware double click on that and what we've got to do let me move that up a bit is to move this <coughs> Lego Mindstorms firmware 1.31 into these others you see we've got 1.29 1.28 and that other one that's this is where we store those programs those firmware so we click on this we bring it across to there and we've now got three 1.28 1.31 and 1.29 so we can close that down with a sigh of relief we got out of there we didn't do anything disastrous hopefully we can close this one as well <coughs> and actually to be cautious I'll also delete that I like cleaning up um, I'll move, move that to the recycle bin we'll restart Lego Mindstorms again we click on go we go up to tools and we want to update NXT firmware and you'll notice this time we've got 1.28 1.29 the other one that we don't have to worry about and 1.31 so if I start up my robot uh, you may have heard that starting up I go to download and this will download firmware 1.31 into my Lego NXT firmware brick I've got that connected via USB cable uh, between my computer and my NXT brick so click download all three of these have to go green now um, your computer screen will go blank while it's locating the NXT um, there'll be some pause that it's now preparing it you may hear a slight clicking while it's doing that it's now downloaded and finished so I can it started up again and we can close that and the new version of firmware 1.31 is in our Lego brick robot so we've accomplished the firmware upgrade and we don't want to save the changes we just close down and we've finished we've fixed everything good